In brightest day, in blackest night, these guys will shine their willing light. Hey guys, today I'll give you the comic book origins of the Green Lantern Corps. Now, what I'm doing here is giving you a history of the most popular lanterns in DC, starting with the Green Lantern Corps. Now this won't be the only core that I'll be covering, since I will cover all the others, but I will overall be doing nine different lanterns, going from the green, to the red, to the pink, to the black. And of course there are a few more, but... I thought I'd start it with the most popular of the lanterns, and one of my favourites. But... For the next nine days, I will be covering all nine lanterns, and even telling you their oaths. The Green Lantern Corps is the core of Will. It basically started three billion years ago when the planet Maltus, when its population, had evolved into highly intelligent beings. These beings actually placed themselves at the center of the universe and create and name their planet Oa. From then on, they were known as Owens, which were a highly intelligent race of aliens, but when a member of their society, Crone, had experimented with incredibly dangerous... well, had committed incredibly dangerous experiments, these Owens had decided to combat evil and any dark forces throughout the universe. The, these Owens then go on to create them to create the Green Lantern Corps and appoint themselves as the guardians of the universe. Once they create the Green Lantern Corps, they basically recruit all beings from across the universe that have the will to live on, to live, fight for truth, and do the right thing. But <clears throat> Each, got, each member of the Green Lantern Corps has their own sector of the universe to protect. But with our human Green Lanterns from characters such as Alan Scott, Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner, Jon Stewart, and Carl Rayner, they are by far our most popular human members of the Lantern Corps. But... I obviously can't forget about their oath, which I did cover in my Origins of Green Lantern episode years ago, months ago. But the oath sounds a bit like this, and it is one of my favourites. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evils might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. <clears throat> Now the Green Lanterns have actually the Green Lantern Corps has actually been named one of the most powerful forces in DC. But we did get a very poor representation of them in 2011's Green Lantern. But hopefully we will see a better version since we had a little taster in Justice League when we saw an unnamed Green Lantern. But that's it for the Green Lantern Corps, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below. And I'll come back tomorrow to give you more origin stories. See you guys.